Greetings, and welcome to the Livid Instrument Controller Series. This is video and Ableton Live Pack 2 of 4 for the controller bass. My name is Casey Harvey-Taylor, and I'm a product specialist here at Livid Instruments. We're going to continue on using device mode, button 3, to manipulate parameters of a effect rack, which I have for you to download. This effect rack uh, is going to add some uh, variety and some spice to the drum rack. Uh, what I've done is I've created a simple uh, MIDI clip here. We'll start that up from the drum rack. Just to go over some of the terminology that I have up here, there's rhythm versus space. That's what this first one in green, that macro knob is. The ones in blue uh, affect the rhythm. So that's going to be beat repeat stuff and delay stuff. Uh, so when you have things, uh, the, the macro knob in the green here all the way to the left, that means you're going to be dealing with that sort of element, the rhythmic stuff. Uh, if you move it all to the right, to the right you're going to start working with space. And so that's just going to be reverb uh, and affecting the parameters of reverb. Uh, on the bottom uh, uh, right macro knob here in, uh, in purple, it says more space. This is going to give you more space on the overall... Um, on the overall rack itself because sometimes if you're moving from something that's very wet to very dry it can be a little jarring this will allow you to kind of smooth that out or get big real big washes um, we can affect this uh, these macro knobs these eight macro knobs right away uh, by utilizing bass and this is a really great thing uh, in performance is just getting away from uh, from using your your mouse or it can be a real inspiring thing while you're in the studio to rather than mousing around and be able to just do kind of one linear thing at a time you can get your hands on and move multiple parameters at once. Uh, you can record that in as automation or as another audio track and kind of record a performance in that way. Uh, so, if we look here, um, these eight uh, faders are going to correlate directly to the eight macro knobs on the uh, effect rack here. You can see the effect rack does have the blue hand on it, and one little trick we're going to do here is we're going to go and uh, what I did is control click or right click on a PC, and if you go down here and you lock it to the control surface, that means no matter where else I go on the set, the uh, base is going to be locked to the this uh, effect rack and I can affect these uh, the parameters uh, so if I click on anything else it won't make a difference uh, really great thing to, to know about uh, in your sets uh, really can be a, a lifesaver because you know where, wherever you're at you can still reach down and affect the uh, the um, the signal that you want to work with so uh, we'll start diving in here um, uh, the um, ability to go to rhythm versus space is controlled here on the first macro knob and first fader on the bass. So if we start messing with some of the uh, rhythm, you're going to see there's going to be repeat versus delays. So we're turning up towards delays, and we can affect that delay timing. A little bit longer delay the more that we turn up that macro knob or bring up the amount on the fader. Now let's bring that back to some more of the beat repeat, and we can turn that beat repeat timing to 16ths there. And one of the cool things is that I have this beat repeat before the delay, so we can actually we can actually do some stuff where we take that delay timing, bring it bring it right about in there, and then we can even turn up the delay, kind of get some stuff you know a little bit more uh, stuck into the delay, so we can. Do things along those lines, which can be really great uh, elements to uh, inspire you uh, as far as uh, fills, fills and builds and things along those lines. Now uh, we can bring up, uh, bring we can blend this with the uh, space or the reverb, and uh, so I'm going to bring it up just to, to give us a little bit more of the space. Let's take a look on that. Uh, no, number five is going to be this macro knob, the space amount. So that's going to really push it really far in the back. It's going to sound really far away because there's not much dry signal at all. So we're going to, I'm going to bring that to uh, about the halfway mark and we can uh, kind of take that size down. It sounds more like we're in a small uh, uh, bathroom or something here and when you bring that size up you can hear we get into something that's more of a larger room. Uh, and change that time and it starts to become something that's like a gymnasium or something along those lines. These can be really great if you crank that all the way up and we go you get in a real big washy space and then start moving back into some of the rhythmic stuff. It can be great for transitions. So 
So you can see that you can do a lot with this rack. Um, you can go in and bring in any loop that you have uh, and you're gonna be able to affect kind of some of the high end because what I've done is I've done a little bit of filtering for you because if you've heard, only the only stuff that's being affected is stuff in the higher frequency ranges. That kick drum is staying constant and I'm not doing any beat repeat or space on that. Look forward to next week when we'll be adding more to this set. In the meantime, have a blast and we'll see you soon.